Good morning and welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Wednesday, July 27th. Is it 27? 27th? 27th, 2022. Guys, the new moon is tomorrow. Okay? I do believe it's tomorrow. Let me check. It's either today or tomorrow. Let me check. The new moon. Age is up. The new moon is tomorrow. Okay, so get your water put outside to, to make your moon water. Set your intentions to receive your blessings. Guys, I have a new divination deck. That I'm going to start using for our daily blessings. This is called the Pixiekins deck. This is a, a daily inspiration deck. And it is by Paulina Cassidy. So this will be our new inspiration for the day. And I think we'll pull three cards. Three cards for the day. There universe creator spirit guides please give us inspiration for this day inspiration for this day there we go all right oh my goodness the first card we get is nix this is a day filled with laughter is a day well spent. The second card we get is Leonard Roralot. And this card says, be brave enough to become who you were always meant to be. And our third inspiration card for this morning is Jack and Aura never miss a chance to dance all right guys I hope you like these new cards I will try to uh, incorporate these into um, the weeklies at least into one weekly and I will still be using the namaste deck as well okay I've got some fantastic questions today thank you for everyone who asked. All right. My first question is from Denny. Denny would like to know, is Pope Francis battling his own personal Armageddon with the state of the world and everything that is going on? Is Pope Francis battling his own personal Armageddon? Please, universe, please clarify this question for me is Pope Francis what is Denny trying to ask me is Pope Francis battling his Armageddon here we go hmm interesting Denny yes and let me show you this uh, Pope Francis is going through some M internal turmoil and there's some external reasons there's there is some upheaval going on um, in religion itself um, and and we can thank America for this we can thank judge uh, 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 Clarence Thomas for igniting this fire in religious circles but Denny yes the first card we get is the Nine of Cups for, for Pope Francis. Pope Francis is protecting his legacy, his assets. I mean, he's a pope. He's taken a vow of poverty. He's taken, a, you know, he's taken a vow of poverty. He's protecting his, his name. He does not want to, when he leaves his office, he does not want to be known as the controversial Pope, even though he is, and that's how he made his name. But, guys, 
this is the first pope who has spoken out on uh, the abuses towards children by priests in the Catholic Church. So he's already a maverick of sorts, but he wants to protect his legacy as well as protect the church. And I think that's where the failure is because instead of and standing up for the truth, he's trying to protect the status quo. So yes, Denny, here's our final answer. Pope Francis is definitely in his Armageddon. He is facing, he is, he is fighting an internal war within himself. Let me change this color. Bear with me a second, guys. I need to change the color of this light to take the glare off. There we go. All right. So Pope Francis is, is, is in an internal war. Look at both of these cards are fighting cards. And this is fighting within his own circle. This is circular fighting within the Vatican. So, yes, Denny, there are things that are happening in the Catholic Church that the Pope is battling. And this has everything to do with the state of our world today. Okay, next question from Denny. Will karma affect the Republican Party? Guys, it's already affecting the Republican Party. The first head has fallen. The rest will fall in succession. Okay, so Bannon got found guilty. He was the first one that was bold enough to say, nope, I'm not going to sit for the committee. You can't make me. There's nothing you can do to me. He was wrong. There is something they can do to him. He's going to prison. Doesn't matter if it's for a day or for a year. He's going to prison. And now what has happened is the rest of the Republicans, who uh, the rest of the cabinet, the rest of these uh, dissidents, and especially the ones who are in Congress, have now stood up and taken notice. Justice has uh, struck down one of their own and one of their big voices, the nasty, dirty, stinky, I'm sorry, but Bannon is, uh, and this is just from, from what I'm being told, his personal hygiene is atrocious. The man is filthy. He is, he stinks. He's filthy. Um, but his head has, is now on the chopping block and has been severed. So now the rest of the Republicans are taking notice. Will Karma affect the Republican Party. Yes, Denny. But we'll throw the cards. <laughs> yes, Denny. Karma is affecting the Republican Party. And guys, this I, I'll show you all the rest of the cards because this is this is going to be severe for the Republicans. They are going to get beat up in this cycle. I was unsure on how everything was going to come to fruition before this, but now with this January 6th committee, and I was a skeptic. I was a skeptic. I was one of the people who was wondering, what is it that could possibly come out that we did not see firsthand? And I was wrong, and I'm so glad I was wrong, because now I understand the gravitas of exactly what was going on behind the scenes and guys what we heard about the January 6th what we heard through the January 6th committee guys this is what they did when they only had a, a month to come up with a plan wait until you see the Mueller report just wait what they uncovered there will blow your socks off Okay, my next question is from Carmen. And Carmen would like to know, why is China against Pelosi going to Taiwan? Why is China against Nancy Pelosi going to Taiwan? And they're threatening her behind this. Why? What is the reason? Universe, spirit guides, you know, uh, yeah, um, Ancestors, please speak through me. Give me the answers truthfully. Why is China railing against Nancy Pelosi? 
because she is she is going there turning over stones She's going there asking questions. She's going there with cameras to show how things... China is trying to take over Taiwan. Covertly, overtly, however they can. China is going to invade Taiwan. And it's going to happen soon, guys. Um, China doesn't want any Americans over there snooping around on what they're doing. Um, they are being very... Well... Guys, understand, nobody's country is healthy right now. And China is, is definitely not healthy. But they are planning. This is a coup in the making. China is definitely planning on uh, annexing Taiwan. And that's what they are going to call it. They are going to annex Taiwan. They are going to destroy Taiwan's de economy and they are going to come in and take it over. It is going to be like a hostile takeover of a company. Guys, understand, this is how the world is running now. Every independent country, you can look at it as a company, as a big business. And that's how the world has gotten in this, in this trash bag that we are in. Because they have taken the human aspect, the people, the populace, out of it and made it nothing about money and commerce and trade okay so China is looking to annex Taiwan China is going to try to destroy Taiwan's economy and then go in and hostily take over they are going to force a coup to uh, take out uh, Taiwan's government lock stock and barrel and that could be through brute force murder or threatening them um, and making them run away from their offices. Okay, so Carmen, China is threatening Nancy Pelosi because they don't want her going over there, kicking over stones, alerting people to what is about to happen. They are trying to keep anybody who is pro-democracy out of the country. But let's see what Terrell has to say. Why is China keeping Nancy Pelosi out of Taiwan? Yes, because she can she can cause trouble for them. She can show them exactly what China is trying to do to steal it from them. She will come and enlighten them, bringing them bring them news about the annexation that is imminent. They don't want her to give them any type of, of strength, any type of resolve, any reason to try to fight back. Okay? That is what China is doing, Carmen. Okay, my next question is from Eliza G. And hold on, this light is bothering me. Sorry, guys. There we go. There we go. Eliza G says... Families of the nine, uh, uh, families of nine eleven, of eleven, families of people who were killed on nine eleven, are protesting live golf at Bedminster at Forty Fives Golf Club in uh, Bedminster, New Jersey. Will the protesters be um, effective? Will they? Uh, will they be? effective in shutting down or disrupting this golf tournament and guys I have to speak on this uh, golf tournament about live golf understand the Saudis are the ones who bombed us on 9-11 they themselves solely bombed us on 9-11 we, in turn, went and bombed Iran and Iraq, who had nothing to do with 9-11, knowing that the Saudis were responsible, knowing we identified 13 of the hijackers as being trained Saudi people, people, uh, Saudi Arabians who trained as pilots here in the United States. We trained the, our own suicide bombers. And now, 
we are doing business with the country who not that long ago attacked our attacked our nation these families are begging these professional golfers not to partner with live golf they are begging them they are begging um, uh, uh, viewers not to attend don't support murderers I'm not gonna say for entertainment purposes Saudi Arabia attacked the United States of America these are facts this is not entertainment we are doing business with murderers who murdered us to make money 45 the fat guy partnered with murderers and is now using his property to enrich himself guys uh, Trump is getting paid billions of dollars to host these events at bed at Bedminster and Doral yes they are making it extremely lucrative the Saudis have a foothold in America through live golf and if you would like to know why they kept the E off why it's L I V just spell it backwards because if you put the E on they would be evil but right now the way that they are right now they're just vile okay they left the E off so that they wouldn't be evil they chose just to be vile look at it for what it is okay and they are and this is a foothold a stronghold to legitimize despots in our country this will bolster the factor that supports 45 this will in this will strengthen them this is another way that consequences have not been levied on the fat guy okay will the uh 9 11 protesters be able to affect the live live golf tournament yes they will affect the live golf tournament guys they are going to shine a light on the evilness of this they want they are demanding justice and they are screaming good on them we need to give them energy support throw it into the atmosphere that these people that their voices reach everyone that needs to be reached there is a magic with them this is going to turn the tide this is going to have it's going to make old mbs a little bit angry yes it is and who cares it's it's better to be pissed off than pissed on so yes it's going to cause some people to walk away from this uh from this what are we going to call it conglomeration from this entity some of these paid golfers will find their cojones they will search for them and find them and decide that the money is not worth their soul and that's what it is the Saudi Arabians are finding the nu the number the the dollar amount to where American uh, uh, where American athletes will sell their soul for money and that is what they are doing they are fishing around fishing around fishing around and you can see I mean old Charles Barkley oh he's just waiting for them to throw out the number so that he can bring his little trifling behind right on over there to the vile network yes understand and look at these people who sell out you are looking at they are the problem they always have been these people are anti-american because the only they have, they will sell their mother down the river if the dollar amount is right and you are what live golf is doing is identifying 
every vile person that we have in America that will sell out for money. And yeah, I'll call you a sellout because that's what you are. I don't care if they give you a billion dollars. A billion dollars is not does not replace all the lives that were lost in 9-11. All the, all the children who were made orphans. Shame on you. Shame on you. I hope you get everything you deserve. And I hope Live Golf is an epic failure. But yes, Eliza. Those protesters are going to affect Live Golf. And I hope that they are there every single time. There is any type of golf tournament. I don't care if they're just trying to, to, to film a promo. I hope every time the cameras turn on that there's protesters and signs calling MBS and Saudi Arabia out as the murderers that they are and calling out American, Americans for supporting a murderous empire. Yes. All right. Excellent question, Eliza. Okay, my next question is from Beautiful Girl. Beautiful Girl is talking about Tim Scott. Another, and I'm going to call it as I, I'm going to call him as I see him. Another Uncle Tom. Another Republican black person. Person of African descent that can look at police violence and say, Oh, I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, if that little seven-year-old boy had just complied, maybe the cops wouldn't have hit him in the head with a gun. Oh, my goodness. No. Uh, Tim Scott, Uncle Tom, Tim Scott. Let us see. He claims that he has not watched anything dealing with the January 6th committee. Yes, no, he hasn't. Because he does not want to hear all the evidence that they have against him. Understand why they're saying this. They are not watching because they don't want to see the evidence against their party. Every single one of them is a traitor. Tim Scott was one of the ones who was dead set on, uh, making, uh, on, on voting against the electors. He wanted to he wanted the fake electors voices to be heard. He is a traitor. Uh, Tim Scott, what was he doing on January 6th? Um, was did he have anything? Did he have any part in the insurrection? Terrell, please, spirit guides, you, uh, universe and ancestors speak through me. Did Tim Scott have anything? to do in the January 6th. Crossroads fell out, guys. Tim Scott, did you have anything to do with the January 6th committee? Yes, he did. And it was in the planning stages, guys. Uh, everything that Tim Scott was going to do was going to happen right there in the, in the justice chamber. He wanted, he wanted the fake electors to come forward. Um, I don't, I am unsure. I am unsure if, if uh, he may have, I think he may have uh, voted against. He may have been one of the naysayers to downvote that uh, uh, the, the electoral college. Yes, I believe he was. Yes. But uh, Tim Scott, for what he, he didn't do anything um, externally that I see. But he wants to get away. He wants to get away, and he is afraid of what we are going to find out about him. And I'm calling these people Uncle Toms, because, and people need to know what an Uncle Tom is. And Uncle Tom, it, during slavery, was a slave. I mean, there's a story about Uncle Tom, but I'm going to tell you what we consider an Uncle Tom. Okay, an Uncle Tom is a black person who will literally throw other black people under the bus for the approval of white people, specifically white men. This is so an Uncle Tom is a black man who will bend his back, lower his head, and point out his brother to get a pat on the head from the master. That is an Uncle Tom. And Tim Scott, and Clarence Thomas and that stupid girl 
that can't keep her mouth shut, that I can't remember her name, are Uncle Tom. Okay. And I hurt my cards. Look at that. I bit my card. Okay. Um, my next question, the next question from Beautiful Girl. Brooklyn Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead was robbed on a live stream for a million dollars in jewelry. Beautiful Girl would like to know, was this a setup? Who has a million dollars worth of jewelry laying around a church? This was a live streamed robbery. Was this a setup? That is beautiful qu girl's question. Was the robbery, was the on screen live streamed robbery of Brooklyn Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead, was this a setup? was the robbery of Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead a set up yes it was this was a complete setup and and two he ain't have no million dollars worth of jewelry no 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 that was another this was a double robbery this is uh, Bishop Miller setting up a robbery and then trying to set up the insurance company to cover a million dollars worth of non-existent jewelry that was not stolen just relocated by some friends Bishop Lamar is going to face his justice this is not gonna turn out well for him he is going to be found out and this is gonna hurt him this is going to hurt him this man stands to lose everything behind this little scheme he's in money trouble he is he is in debt to somebody and he is afraid he owes money and th this was a way he thought that he could get a quick injection worth of cash now they've got a million dollars worth of secured jewels that are insured this is a whole thing. This is an insurance scam. It's an insurance scam. He's going to be found out and he's going to he is going to face all the consequences behind this. This was a setup, beautiful girl. He is in trouble. He owes money. He is trying to save his butt. He going to go to jail. Him and his wife are going to go to prison behind this. Okay. My next question is from Denny. Brazil, Russia, India, and China have created or, or are creating their own currency called BRICS. B-R-I-C-S, which stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They are creating their own currency to trade independently with each other. Will this hurt other nations economically guys this is this is another thing this is a dirty thing that uh china and russia are doing they are trying to cut out the whole rest of the world they are trying to cut out nato they are trying to hurt european uh nations with with this uh with this currency spirit guides please Will the BRICS currency harm other countries? Oh my goodness, this is big. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, this is going to be very treacherous for the rest of the world. Guys, this is going to hurt trade around the world. This is going to tie up so many economies because number one they will have they will be forced to participate in the BRICS economy in that currency which in in turn is going to insulate China and Russia for all the dirty deeds that they are doing oh my goodness here's our answer yes this is going to have a global impact on trade around the world this is dirtiness this is some sneaky underhanded business however this has been going on for a while there were opportunities to 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 quash this and again just like the rest of the world doing nothing while the ukraine is being demolished 
The rest of the world sat on their hands and allowed this to go through. This is going to, this is going to be severe. This is coming. This is coming. It's coming quickly. Um, when, when we get the heads up about it, it's already going to be too late. This is going to be, it, this was in reverse. This is going to be detrimental. The, uh, the moon in reverse, instability, inconsistency, silence, to a lesser de degree, deception and error. So this economy, this this thing that they are going to do, this this currency is going to destabilize the economy of the rest of the globe. Basically, it's going to dis destabilize European, the European countries' e uh, uh, economy and America. Yes, it's going to destabilize the economies of the rest of the world. Um, and it's not even going to be a good currency, but it's going to be enough to disrupt. And that's what they are doing it for. This is a disruption to say that you can't, you can't. These sanctions that you want to put on us, well, we can fight back. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's dirty, guys. It's dirty. It's dirty. Okay. My next question is from Sylvia H., and Sylvia's question is, will the Social Security bill pass? And that was the one, and I believe this bill has already passed. Um, this is for the extra $200. And will there be an inflation increase? Sylvia, I am feeling that that bill has passed. It is just being hung up in uh, the Senate. Um, let me ask. Let me ask, let's just ask again. Will the bill, the Social Security bill, be passed? First question. Uh, yes. Jumped out and flipped over. Yes. I believe this has already been passed. Okay, second part of the question. Will there be a, an inflation increase added to Social Security? Will there be an inflation increase added to Social Security? Yes, guys, I feel that there is going to be another stimulus check. Let's just ask that question. Will there be another stimulus check coming to Americans this year? Will there be another stimulus check? This world card keeps flipping over and coming to the top. That was probably our answer, too. It flipped over and moved to the top. I don't know if y'all saw that. That card flipped over and literally moved to the top of the deck. What was the question again? Will we get a stimulus check this year? Yes. First card is trying to tell me, yes, we are going to get another stimulus check this year, guys. Let me pull four. Let me go ahead and pull this whole thing. Yeah. There's there's more stuff coming. We are not out of this sickness yet. And guys, believe me, there is another pandemic worse than COVID coming. We will not be out of COVID when the next pandemic hits. Understand that. Understand that. I'm not, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to prepare you because... Everybody that, that had a problem wearing masks are really going to have a problem with this next pandemic. Because if you don't wear a mask, you are definitely going to get sick. This is how bad it's going to be. COVID was a trainer. COVID was a warning for us to train us how to get through the real big one. We failed miserably. Guys, prepare. Prepare. Those masks are going to go back on. And they're going to go back on for a long time. We have another worse than COVID pandemic on the horizon. Okay. Okay. My next question is from B. Butler. And this is about student loans. Um, B. Butler would like to know the, the, when back in the sixties and seventies is when, uh, the whole push for everybody to go to college came in and it came with them hefty student loans so um, B Butler would like to know was the everyone can go to college 
a scam. Yes, it was. Understand what was going on. When they did the everyone can go to college and encourage everyone to go to a four year or two year to go to a college or a junior college, what happened was they closed, dissolved trade schools. In the 50s, the 40s and 50s, after World War II, um, during Korea and, and Vietnam, the Vietnam era, an 18-year-old American could graduate high school, No, could, didn't even have to graduate high school, could go to a trade school, learn a trade, plumbing, electricity, um, anything like that. Those were trade schools. Didn't go to college for that. You went to a trade school and you could make a lucrative income. Didn't have to have a college degree. Didn't have to have a high school degree. You could go to this trade school, learn your trade, and earn a living wage. In the 80s, and this is another thing, we're going to go right back to old Ronald Reagan. Ronnie and Donnie broke the system the most. Ronald Reagan took the safety net away from Americans. Put disabled Americans on the street closed uh, medical facilities, closed thousands of schools and trade schools in to push for-profit college to disenfranchise people. And it has worked like a dream. We, our children, strive to go to college to learn a trade but they don't learn that trade in college. They're learning math. Maths that if it is nothing to do with their chosen occupation will not give them any experience in the job that they are going into. Yes, this was a big scam. Most of our young people who have college degrees do not work in the industry that they went to college to work in. Most of them are working below their degree. They don't have any experience and they can't get a job because they have no experience. When we had trade schools, the actual trade school, you were hands-on learning how to build motors, learning how to repair refrigerators, learning how electricity can kill you. But you learned and that was experience. The college, the everyone going to college, was a way to inject money to make rich people richer and to keep the average person poor. And then they attached on this. If you have student loans that are outstanding, when you turn 65, if your student loans are not paid off, you will not receive your social security. Understand the system of slavery that for-profit college is and it is backed by our government understand guys Americans we are not like Europe because we have been set up for failure our country feeds us chemicals that are banned around the rest of the world pollutes our water allows big businesses to poison us poison our food. Skittles, guys, are poison. That was my favorite candy. They should not be consumed by any human living being. Can't get them overseas. They're illegal. But you can feed them to your babies. Understand, they keep us Americans low vibrating, under control, thinking that we have all these freedoms when we are so enslaved. Understand, guys, the time for us to, uh, to wake up and open our eyes to the system of oppression that every single one of us is living under. This is not the land of the free and the home of the brave. This is the land of the unfree and the home of the slave. My next question is from must be heard. My last question, as a matter of fact, 
Why is there so much violence from young people lately? Why is there so much abuse on black people by the police? These are two excellent questions. We're going to deal with the first one first. Why is there so much violence from young people? And I need to go back and speak on the, the uh, Uvalde shooter. Someone had asked a question um, back in May or when, when this first happened. If the police, if that shooter was part of a, a bigger scheme, and I was like, I just dismissed it as no. This is a kid that just recently turned 18. You know, how, how could this be planned? Until I stopped for a second. Until I... Uh, saw a little uh, a little article on this boy this boy was known by Uvalde police this boy was known to be dangerous by Uvalde police he was on their radar this boy had already verbalized that he was a terrorist that he was going to do something bad bad Red flags could have kept him from ever purchasing a firearm. The fact that the police knew this boy and knew that he was a clear and present danger to everyone. Yes, that was a setup. It was a setup by the police. They knew and they still know people in, in, their, in their areas that are a direct threat to communities and they are doing nothing about it let them buy as many guns as they want this disgusting display of protect the gun kill them all let God sort them out this is the mentality that the GOP has adopted it will work against them it will Fail. Do not put your energy into being upset or scared or any of those emotions behind them. They will not be successful. They will not succeed. But, and here's the big but, until we get control over this situation, until we inject sanity back into our society we are going to be living in this hellscape of change because this is what it is this is change all of the terrible things that we see that we are experiencing that we have to deal with every day that is the light bulb to show us that this is not where we need to be this is the light bulb to, to make us take action to change our mindsets so that we can improve and create, co-create our new earth. And that's what we are doing. It's time for us to open our minds, our eyes, see things as they are. Stand against tyranny. Stand against lies. Anytime we see lies deceit or abuse being levied we must stand up speak out stand in truth stand in power the only way to fight darkness is with light the only way to kill evil is with love that is what we are being tasked to do and yes we still must hold space for all of those people who are lost who believe that what 45 and Mitch McConnell and the Republican Party are doing is right and true we have to hold space guys when the revelation comes and each person has to experience their own when they experience it when they realize that they have been lied to and duped and misled and they see how they have behaved behind it. They're going to need our love. We must hold space. And we must be prepared to forgive them. 
They look at us the same way we look at them. We are all victims of propaganda. We are all swayed by what we believe democracy should look like. Understand, they have been brainwashing all of us our entire lives. We have to stand in the truth as we know it, in our truth as we know it. And we have to look at what we know to be right and what we know to be wrong. And we must act accordingly. I love you guys. There is some severe weather in the heartland. Some severe weather. A big boom. Like a big just, just warm air and wind and rain colliding. Um, Tennessee, um, lower the lower 48, and then across the Bible Belt. Prepare for strong winds. Again, there may be tornadoes, uh, power outages. A lot of power outages will uh, occur through this storm. Um, and these uh, power outages are going to start to occur more and more frequently. Prepare yourselves, guys. If you do not have an exterior um, portable battery source, please invest in one. It will save your life. And for travelers, please, with all of this weather, there will still be instances where people will be stranded on highways for extended periods of time. And this time it's going to be in the scorching heat. Please make sure that you keep water a, at least a gallon of water. Keep it in your trunk um, so it doesn't evaporate or, or, or on a floorboard. Keep water in your car and also keep a blanket in your car. You may need that blanket to literally cover the window to keep the sun out to keep you cool if you're stranded on a highway. Be safe guys. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. I love every single one of you. Thank you for being here. Namaste.